Warning, the hidden camera stunts in this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Hey, pranksters, we've hired a babysitter for the day and we can't wait to show her our new 3D television. She's not going to believe what's gonna jump off the screen. Yeah, this is Bailey. Hey, guys. And Herman. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. This is Christiana. Hi. Meet Christiana. She's here to babysit a couple of kids who have a brand new 3D theater system. And these two can't wait to show it off. Do you like, Do you like dinosaurs? dinosaurs? I do. We got a really cool 3D system. Yeah. Why don't you wow, sit next really? to us? And this is like the best spot to watch it, so. Okay. All right, cool, let's do this. All right. Is this cool? Wow. Get ready, Christiana. This 3D system is about to get a lot more realistic. It's a good movie, right? Yes, you were awesome. Oh my gosh. Gosh. I'm still good. shaking. You, you, can can touch touch the nose. you can touch the nose. You guys are good. Thank wow. you. I just watched the prank. good on that thing. Thanks. <gasps> we have to talk about Zombie Town. No, I haven't seen it yet. What, you didn't watch the season finale last night? Are you crazy? My parents are punishing me. I can't watch any shows, so no screen time for a week. That's inhumane. What kind of sick monsters are they? Evidently, the kind that don't find it funny to fill their shampoo bottles with ketchup and mustard. It happened last night. Dad still smells like a hot dog. Did you see it? Oh, I saw it. Amazing, right? I think the entire reason I was put on this planet is so I could watch that episode. Guys, can we please talk about something else? I literally can't. I don't care about anything anymore except Zombie Town. Did you guys see it? Oh, <laughs> I saw it. What? I know! When Blake and Shauna were getting married, I was hey. like, oh. I haven't seen it yet. No spoilers. You haven't watched Zombie Town? Why would you do something so stupid? Parent stuff. You can't watch it till next week. There's no way you're going to be able to make it a week without someone telling you what happened. Well, I'm going to try, okay? When that thing happened, I was like, no way. <laughs> and when the other thing happened... And she did the thing. Oh, I screamed for like five minutes. And I'm talking that high-pitched girl that got to scream like, ah! Me too. I literally threw my remote out the window. Okay, I'm changing schools. There they are, Zombie Town. What? Can't talk about it. Chance hasn't seen it. Well, then tell Chance to turn right around and get out of my store, because we talking about this. Just don't say any of the plot points. OK. Hey, uh, Dusty, mm -hmm. when the Z-O-M-B-I-E-S showed up at the W-E-D-D... -D, I, I can spell. OK. Hey, uh, Dusty, I'm... Three, three words. Three. Three. Yeah. three words. Uh, um, zombie. 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 Don't do charades either. Mm. Hey, what's with all the balloons? Oh, I'm doing a big promotion for the joke shop. I was looking at receipts over the weekend, did the math, and guess what? The next person that comes in and buys something will be my 10,000 customer. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so I'm just getting everything ready. Balloons are going to fall, music's going to play, and they're going to get a $500 gift certificate good for anything in the store. And that's for the next person to buy something? Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to walk in. I think it'd be good word of mouth, you know, get people talking about the store. Hey, can I have one of those sticks with gum? Yeah, sure, that's uh, five cents. Here's your gift certificate. Thanks, Uncle Will. Now I'd like to have $500 worth of that gum. <laughs> Let me go get a hand cart. Hey there, prank lovers. Don't 
Don't you hate it when adults tell you you're too young? Well, Herman and I are gonna show one unlucky grocery store cashier just how upset we get. Uncle Will giving away a prize for his 10,000th customer gave us a great idea for a prank. So we took over a real supermarket. Jenner, how you doing? Will, Hi, I'm the manager nice here. Nice to meet you too, man. Come right this way with me. And here's our target now. Meet Jenner. He thinks he's here to be our new cashier for the day. This is the lifeblood of the store, you know what I mean? OK, yeah, yeah. Register is the heart. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Everything else, limbs. All right. But it's the heart. Sounds good. Hortensia, can I get you a cash register seven, please, for some training? OK, let me sign in for you. And after about 45 seconds of intensive training on the register, Jenner's ready to start checking people out. Ready to go. Awesome. OK. OK. Hi, good, how are you doing? So far, he's doing great, but things are about to get a million times more interesting for Jenner. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello. Great. Great, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Those are going to be 8.78. You are the millionth customer. We want a millionth customer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do we get? Woo. Get that money. Ten thousand dollars for free groceries. You know how much Woo. candy bars we can get? Yeah. yeah. So for Jenner, what should be the best first day ever on the job is about to become the most uncomfortable. Come here, come here. So we, it's illegal for us to give it to anybody that's under 18. So we're not going to be able to give them this. Yeah. So we got to let them know that they don't get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it. So could you? So could okay. you do that for me since you're on the cash register, brother? Yeah, um, I don't like confrontation myself. What? I don't really dig confrontation. So you want me to tell them? Yeah, yeah. Just tell them they're not the meal and customer. OK. All right. Uh, you want to bring this sign away? Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'll let those guys. This is really going to help with our dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he's like lost his guys, job. I have to, I have to break some news to you. And now it's time to play. How many times can we make Jenner say sorry in 30 seconds? Hold on, before you do. No, no, I have to, I have to break some news to you. Sorry. Because you are under 18, we cannot let you take this $1 million. What? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, not it's the law. But it's not a million dollars. It's $10,000. $10,000? I'm sorry. It's the law is if you're under 18. What's ages on it? I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I'm not, I'm not in charge. I'm just oh. helping for the day. You're an ageist. I'm not an ageist. I'm very sorry. This isn't fair. You think kids are stupid? I don't think kids are stupid. Why really... would you give us a check that we can't have? Uh, I didn't give you the check. I'm sorry. That's I not was fair. working for the day. That, that, that's not fair. I'm sorry if it's not fair. I didn't make the rules. I'm very sorry. Why would you do that to us? That's really mean. I didn't I didn't do that. I'm sorry. Ten sorries in 30 seconds is a new watch the prank record. Congratulations, Jenner. And we're sorry too. Cause you win nothing. Well, we really need that money because because dad's having a rough time and then. It's just been bad. I feel for I feel for you. I really do. Wow, Jenner's the nicest guy ever. I almost feel like letting him off the hook. Nah. <laughs> you did this. Do this is really for unfair. You. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! We have a uh, child hey, hater hey, on hey. aisle seven. Please. He really does not hey, love children. Hey, hey. He's not giving us the check, which is He's super not us the check. Hey. I don't know what's up with this. Someone I'm please sorry. help us. Hey, kid, please, please. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to stop you know this, what? okay? We're gonna get our $10,000 no, anyway. Hey, 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 Put the candy come in. Come, come on. on. Really? Guys, come on. Come on, let's hey. go. Hey, guys. Seriously. Dad! Time to bring in our dad and take this prank to the next level. He's a child hater. He's a child hater. Who's a child hater? The cashier. The cashier. No. Big misunderstanding, cashier. really. Yeah, the I cashier. Think you do not talk to my kids like that. You don't need to shovel me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want something? What's your stomach like right now? Very trimmed up. That was that was quite a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Quite a surprise. What was going through your mind? Oh, yeah. uh, what the heck is going on? All right, cool. Yeah, it was. That was crazy. I just walked the prank. <laughs> That's hilarious. Clean up an aisle too. Yeah. Herman. 
I just read the newspaper. Oh, yeah, they called me about being the 10,000th customer. <laughs> when asked what he liked about Ill Will's novelty shop, 11-year-old Herman Baldwin said, it's cool because nobody ever shops there and Uncle Will doesn't have any friends, so we pretty much have the place to ourselves. Oh, no need to thank me, Uncle Will. No, I'm not thanking you. Herman, I don't want people to think that nobody shops here, and I do have friends. Who are your friends? People. I have tons of friends. They just, they, they always got a lot to do, and, and they live in a different state. And because they don't exist. Ha! <laughs> In Zombie Town, when Blake goes no, to take off no, Shauna's no, veil no, no, at the wedding, no, what's no, actu no, actually about to happen no, is that no, she's about to take it off and then it's gonna explode. No, 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 no. Coming up next on Walk the Prank. She's right here. <laughs> Warning, the hidden camera stunts on this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Parents always want us kids to help put away groceries, but it's so boring. That is, unless your groceries don't want to be put away. Let me introduce you to the kids. Come over here. And here are our targets now. Meet Dexter, Amy, and Christy. They think they're here for an easy babysitting job, but let's see what happens when they get enlisted to unpack groceries and find out that mom only buys the freshest ingredients. Oh, my favorite brand. It's my favorite brand. <laughs> what? What the heck? Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> You guys are, you guys are in cold pranks first. I, I just walk, walk the prank. On top, on top, on top. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Chance, I've been texting you all morning. Chance? Chance! Oh. Hey, guys. Sorry, this is just a precaution. Two more days until I can watch the finale of Zombie Town, and I don't want to accidentally hear what happened. You weren't in history. Where were you? Couldn't go. Loud Larry's in that class, and you know he can't shut up about Zombie Town. So you skipped class? I'm so close to the finish line. I can't take my eyes off of the prize now. So I went to the nurse, and I pretended I had a stomach ache. Really? She bought that? Yeah, she bought it. She bought it so much that she wrote me a note saying that I can go home for the rest of the day. Watch and learn. Ah, ah, oh, ah. She totally bought it. <laughs> She's right behind me, isn't she? Mm -hmm. mm. Give me the slip string, Bean. Please tell me that dinosaur isn't made out of my gum. Yeah, it's a chew Asaurus Rex. That's such a waste. It's OK. I'm pretty gum rich right now. Hey, Herman, look, it's Doug, my friend. See, I told you I had friends. Doug, the demon! <laughs> it's the delivery guy. He's also my longtime friend. Where do you want this gum, sir? You don't have to call me, sir. We're buddies. Doug and I have tons of great conversations. We're always cracking each other up. Like, what was that thing we was just laughing about yesterday? You said you needed gum. <laughs> you said you were out of gum. Classic Doug. Yes! Yes! I don't have time for this. Where do you want the gum? In the back. Where do you want the gum? You know where I want the gum. Classic Doug. Doug, you need cracking you up, Doug. You're so stupid. Uncle Will, it's OK not to have a lot of friends. No, it's not. And I do. I didn't have a lot of friends until I got to middle school with Chance. So I had an imaginary friend. You did? His name was Senora Poots. He was a six-foot cat who wore a sombrero. One day, he told me it was time for him to move on and grow up. I never saw him again. So your imaginary friend grew up and stopped believing in you? Yeah. Welcome to Walk the Prank. And we have a scary prank for you tonight. We've hired a babysitter to watch us for the night. Yep, me, Herman, and our imaginary friend. That's me, Miss Nobody. <laughs> Let's walk the prank. And it just happens to be a very creepy night for this babysitter's first visit to our prank house. 
This is Allie. Allie, hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for being here so late. And this is our unsuspecting babysitter, Allie. She thinks she's here to babysit just two kids, Herman and Dusty. Question is, What's she gonna do when Herman's imaginary friend decides to crash this party? This is the security system. Okay. We can watch them in their rooms and things. Yeah, you hey, boys, come down and meet the babysitter real quick. We gotta get going. And this is our nanny cam surveillance system that's gonna let Allie keep an eye on everything that's happening upstairs. Thanks, Allie. Bye, Love boys. You guys. Bye. 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 So first, with the help of our makeup department, we had to turn Bailey into a creepy, no-faced little girl named Miss Nobody. Yikes. Next, in the upstairs bedroom, we pre-recorded Bailey and Herman playing Ring Around the Rosie and some extra creepy footage of Miss Nobody. We'll get to that later. But before we do, let's have a little fun with Allie. You want to see my show? The Herman Show. Oh, the Herman Show. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. And now live from Herman's house, it's the Herman Show. Now here's your host, Herman. <laughs> he does it all the time. <laughs> I can tell. I'm the Herminator! It, it, it was funny the first couple times. <laughs> yeah. A commercial break. A commercial break. So now that Allie's seen the Herman show and knows that there's no one else upstairs, it's time to introduce Miss Nobody. Can you help me with my homework? Yeah, of course. This is gonna be boring. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go back upstairs. Oh, okay. So okay. while Dusty distracts Allie with his homework, Herman heads back upstairs to play by himself. But now, we switch the nanny cam to that footage we told you about earlier. It's always, yeah, it shouldn't be that way. Press equals. Yeah, eight. exactly. Yeah. Got it. So one eighth. Wait, no way, this is, no way, these are both. Who is that? Um, I have no idea. Oh, uh, Herman! Herman? Oh my God. It's okay, okay, it's okay. She bought it. She actually thinks there's a stranger in the house. Herman? Herman? He's up here. We are down. Ring the run, the road, the pocket bowl, bowl, the ashes, ashes. Well, Herman, was anyone up here? No, I'm just playing with my imaginary friend. Miss Nobody. I, I saw somebody up here. Yeah. D didn't you, you see someone up here, too? Yeah. yeah you, you finally see her. She has no face, but I can tell when she's smiling. Man, I'm freaked out. Why are you guys freaking out? Um, guys, come here. OK. Yeah, let's just go downstairs. That's really creeping me out. Guys, why are you freaking out? If Allie is freaking out now, let's see how she feels when Miss Nobody suddenly reappears upstairs. <gasps> is she there? What is she doing? I have no idea. Hi. I'm, 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 gonna, call, I'm gonna call my dad. Yeah, I think you should. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Miss Nobody. You're not playing a joke, are you? It's not a joke, Allie. It's a prank. And that's why we have Uncle Will waiting about 30 feet from you in our control room just to take this call. Hey, buddy. Hey, um, Dad, there's this girl in Herman's room that we've never seen before. And then when we go upstairs, she's not there, and there's no trace of her. Where's the sitter? Where's the sitter? She, she's right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's fine. I don't know why they're freaking out. I'm seeing a little girl on the screen, but she's not actually physically upstairs. I know it sounds crazy right now. Herman's up there. Go upstairs. Where, where is Herman? Up there. Herman, come here. Herman. 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 Herman, come here. And I'm in here right now, and he's he's waving to her. I She's not in here. She's right here. Hello? Hello? I'm right here. I'm right here. Talk to your dad. Can you talk to your dad? <sighs> Allie, meet Miss Nobody. Oh, great. She's here to meet you, Allie. Hi, Miss Nobody.
<laughs> when the wall started turning, what did you think? I almost peed in my pants. It was so much fun, but I would never do that again. <laughs> I just watched the prey. That target screamed so loud. <laughs> it's almost like she'd never seen a faceless girl before. Will just sent me a photo. How's it going, Herman? Just hanging out with my friend Michael. That's the mailman. Oh. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey. Someone seems to be in a good mood. It's Friday, so I can finally watch Zombie Town. Mm. I'm honestly impressed that you've gone all week without getting spoiled. Can I come watch it, too? I bet I'll notice a lot more on my 17th viewing. Unfortunately, I can't go home and watch it yet. Why not? For getting caught faking sick, I have to do a detention with Mr. Dingley. I told you that was a bad idea. Some people just don't appreciate great acting. Will gave the mailman a friendship bracelet. Faking sick to skip history class makes me, well, sick? I'm sorry, Mr. Dingley. I know you kids don't think history is very important, but, but there are tons of things you'll need to for in life, like if you're ever a contestant on a game show or if you want to teach history. I know, Mr. Dingley. You just can't fake an illness, skip class, and expect everything to work out. School is not optional. You gotta show up, buddy. It won't happen again. How can I put this in a way that you kids would understand? I know. What if Blake had shown up to his wedding rehearsal? Then he would have known that Sean had become a zombie and he wouldn't have had his face ripped off for the wedding. Wait, have you not seen it yet? Oh. 